Cryptocurrency is gonna be great, they said. You're gonna make a lot of money, they said. Well, I just lost 50% of my crypto portfolio. And guess what? It doesn't feel great. Kai, I thought you were a smart investor. But I am, Siri. So why did you lose so much money then? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have the financial crystal ball, unfortunately. All right, but you better improve for the future, otherwise nobody will subscribe to your channel. In this channel, we are all about transparency and education, but I don't have a crystal ball, right? That's why I really want to share my wins and my losses with you so you can learn from it and avoid similar mistakes, but get investing wisdom that you can apply to your own life. But most importantly, no one ever, not me, not anyone on YouTube, will ever be able to tell you what is going to happen in the future because the future is the future and that's unknown. So you have to make sure you get the knowledge so you can make your own educated decisions and not blindly follow other people. So I'll walk you through my current portfolio of crypto holdings and tell you what I'm going to do going forward. Now it's never a pleasant thing seeing your stocks or your cryptos plummeting and going down. But we have to be honest, this is part of any market, right? Any market is cyclical. It comes and goes in waves. So I knew that going in, but of course we're all blinded. All we want to see is going up. And when when I started in cryptos, I've been invested in stocks for quite a while, but only in 2021 I really got into cryptocurrency because of course we had this huge bull run in the market and yes I admit it, I was subject to FOMO and I wanted to have part of the action and usually that's never a good sign but I did it anyways and I started investing through Coinbase where I really built up my main portfolio. As painful as it is to lose money, I'm actually not so worried right now because of two things. Number one, I'm a long-term investor. When I say I lost 50% of my portfolio, I haven't actually lost it because you only lose money once you sell. So imagine if I would sell my portfolio right now, yes, then I would realize my losses and I would have to admit defeat that I lost that money. But as I'm holding on to it, I can actually afford to wait out this downturn bear market and it might take one month, six months, one year, two years. But over the long term, I do believe it's coming back and that's why I'm not selling it. And that brings me to my second point and that is only invest money that you can afford to lose. Now, as I said, it's never nice to lose money. Nobody wants to lose money. You invest to make more money, not to lose money. Again, you have to understand that there are risks involved, that there's a real reality of you losing your money. So really only commit to money and invest money that you can afford to lose. Now, if all my money that I invested in the cryptocurrency was to disappear tomorrow, it would be heartbreaking. I can tell you that honestly, but my life would not collapse. I would still be able to pay my rent, my monthly living expenses, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. Painful? Yes. Changing my life? No. And that's really something I cannot stress enough, guys. I see so many, the stocks are booming in news on Twitter, on Instagram, people showing you can be the next millionaire by investing into this coin. They put all their hard earned money in it, then it flops, they sell, and they're devastated and often left with nothing. And that's a bad situation to be in. Losing 50%, I can tell you, it really hurts. But again, it will come back, so I'm really not too bothered. I keep on monitoring the situation and I'm sure in future updates, it's gonna be at a higher number. So with this, let's have a look into my crypto portfolio. So here we are in Coinbase, which is really my crypto broker of choice. I just love it. It's super easy, super simple to use. They have a beautiful app, simple to use and a fantastic web interface. They're adding more coins with every day and they're the first and biggest cryptocurrency exchange listed on the stock market. So you can actually buy shares from Coinbase as well. And just goes to show that they're regulated, they're complying with financial requirements, and it makes it really a trustworthy and reliable source to buy your cryptocurrency. So here you see my current uh, portfolio balance. As I'm based in Europe, my currency is in euros, but you can change that to any currency. Now, as you can see, in March 2021, I started off, I was ambitious, I saw the growth potential, surrendered to the FOMO and started buying my first Bitcoins. And it was really, as you can see, a very good ride for the first few months. It was a steady increase. Of course, I've also been investing. So that's a combination of my contributions plus natural growth. So when you see these bump ups, uh, they're usually uh, investments made, but then naturally it grew over time, which is amazing to see, just fueled your passion to invest even more. So I, I did the same and it was really a fun ride, I must say, you know, every day you would see the good news and more people would enter the race. Elon Musk started selling Teslas via Bitcoins and more excitement was there. And then there was another massive jump and it really developed. So as you can see at the peak time, which is sometime in May, I had a portfolio worth of 17,000 euros. Now that's really not too shabby. That's starting to be a significant portfolio of cryptocurrency, I would say. But then as anything in life, 
it kind of took a downturn and there was quite a massive correction end of May. There was a lot of news coming out that governments would be banning cryptocurrency and Elon Musk was not happy that Bitcoin's using a lot of electricity. So there was a lot of backlash against cryptocurrency and that immediately reflected and then basically took a downturn from there. And as you can see, it went just a few days ago to the lowest it has ever been, 8,100 euros. So actually it's more than 50% drop. And since then slightly recovered a bit. It is obviously a very volatile currency. It does move, it does go in both directions. And we've seen this before, these bull cycles, cryptocurrencies, when you look over the past few years since when it started, it always had a year or two of massive growth. And then again, it would collapse at a higher level though, stabilize and then slowly start growing again. So just never make the mistake of panic selling. That's the worst you can do. So when we look into which currencies I'm actually holding, I really try to focus on the big cryptocurrencies, the more established ones that really are reliable for the long term. So as you can see, my biggest holding is actually Ethereum, where I almost have 45% of my portfolio is Ethereum. And I really do believe in Ethereum in the long term. It's really not speculative. It's not like Bitcoin. It's not like some of the altcoins that you can see, but it really has a utility attached to it. A lot of NFTs, smart contracts, and a lot of other applications that are part of future technology are built around Ethereum. It has utility, and if anything has utility, people are willing to pay for it. And that's why it's less speculative than some other currencies. And that's why I will continue buying Ethereum because I do believe in the long-term success. Of course, I also do own Bitcoins, which is my second biggest holding with almost 28%. Bitcoin is the most established of all cryptocurrencies, has the most money invested into it. And yes, while it did take a dip, I do believe in the long-term Bitcoin will come back and has really seen less of a utility because you can't really buy your Starbucks or make daily transactions with Bitcoin because that's very resource intensive and there a lot of fees associated with it but I do believe it's a digital gold equivalent and a great store of value for the long term. Then I have Cardano which is around 20% and that's very similar to Ethereum also has a lot of utility value attached to it so really people talk about Ethereum and Cardano having a lot of similarities but they do serve slightly different purposes but nonetheless again it has great utility and as such I do believe it is future proof and has a lot of upside potential as well. And then I have a couple of smaller holdings I do have a few smaller coins as well as you can see actually this is something that you can get from coinbase if you sign up and watch the videos you can actually get free coins so as you can see all those smaller coins none of them I bought I got them actually through coinbase by watching the videos and learning about each of those coins at the peak time when they were high it was worth over 100 euros that I got free just by watching videos about it so that's great and who knows maybe one of them will be the next ethereum one day so in addition to my coinbase holding I do have a few other exchanges as well that I'm using bitpander and kraken but there I have smaller amounts so they're not really substantial and not really worth showing you so the majority of my holdings are really in coinbase so guys in conclusion as bad as it is and I'm sure all of you who have been investing in crypto cryptocurrency have been gone through this emotional roller coaster but I think if you are a long-term investor and only invest money that you can afford to lose you will be able to stomach the short-term pain because in the long term I can guarantee you it will look better cryptos won't disappear and that's why what I will do personally going forward I will continue to dollar cost average into the market meaning that every month I will invest smaller but regular amounts into the market because right now I can actually get really good prices for that cryptocurrency so if I think that in the long term it will be here it does make sense to buy it here because the price might fluctuate but if every month I keep Keep on investing for smaller regular amounts I will slowly start to continue building up my crypto holdings and once the crypto market will come back into the next cycle of a bull market I will have significant holdings and I can then decide will I liquidate them and realize the wins or will I hold it really for another 5, 10, 15 years and then cash out and move to another asset class. So there you have it guys, my open and honest review of my crypto holdings or crypto losses. Despite currently going through difficult times, I am a long-term investor and I will stay committed and invested. If you did enjoy the video or share the pain of losing money in cryptocurrencies, really appreciate if you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what is your biggest crypto holding at the moment. Which this i thank you so much for watching guys stay awesome stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one take care ciao ciao